hey everybody welcome back so today's video is me showing you what I actually found while I was out thrifting I did post a, a picture on Instagram and I asked if you guys wanted to see this video a lot of you guys raised your hand thank you shout out to you guys um, that you wanted to see what I found I found while I was out thrifting now I did go to the Goodwill that's where the picture was taken at but I do also go to other thrift stores in my local area to find things uh, just because I just like to see what other stores have that are not really um, mainstream type stores like Goodwill, Salvation Army. So I look for other thrift stores to see what I can find. And I do have this one which is my favorite right now. It is my Honeycomb Hideout. I dare not say the name of it. <laughs> so uh, yeah because I find some really good stuff. Now I am a little jealous. I've said it before that the girls on the East Coast, um, I see some videos and they're like, oh, this item was a dollar or two dollars or whatever. I wish I could find some stuff that cheap in the Goodwill. Like, I think the minimum price for things out here in California is like six dollars, starting at six, seven dollars or whatever in the Goodwill. It just depends on what it is. Um, yeah, so with that being said I normally do not tell the prices of the items that I found due to when I put them on Poshmark I just don't want to be low balled uh, because people I'll have something on there already for $12 and I'm just giving you an insider I'll have something on there for like $12 that I literally paid like maybe $7 for and I'll have it listed for $10 to $12 and then, and you know after Poshmark takes his fees out I'm literally just getting the money back that I spent and somebody will bundle just the one item um, wanting me to go lower and so um, just for those type of reasons I don't really prefer to tell how much I paid for my items but I do know that when I put stuff in my Poshmark uh, I do try to keep my prices kind of low and close to either what I pay for with just maybe a little bit of extra for myself, which is why I'm doing it. So yeah, okay, enough about all that. Uh, all the information will be down in the description box if you want to check out my closet. I do have a lot of items in my closet that I, do, I didn't actually do videos for. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. I appreciate it. And shout out to anybody that has purchased from me. Thank you for your support over there on Poshmark just as well as on YouTube. So let me get into this haul. And... I'm going to start off with this first thing and this is a Lauren Jeans Company premium jean jacket. This is a Ralph Lauren jacket and it is in excellent condition. That is another thing when I'm when I'm looking for items to put in Poshmark or even just for myself. I like to make sure the items is something that I would actually wear myself and I make sure that there's no holes, no tears, no rips and everything is like in A1 condition. So uh, that's how I go looking for stuff. If it looks like it needs a lot of work put into it and all that, I ain't got time for that. I just don't get it. <laughs> it could be something really, really nice. And if it looks like it's super dirty, um, you got to do all this extra stuff just to even sell it. Like I just don't even want to be bothered with it because I don't have time for that. So this is a really nice jean jacket. Jean jackets are always in style. Uh, I like that it has the adjustable waist and everything. What size is this? This is a size large. And it's just a really nice denim jacket. It, it looks like that. It does have the pocket on the front. And so I did pick that up. It's really soft too. Um, it's like a soft denim. It's not like that like starchy type denim. Uh, yeah. So then, and recently I've been finding a lot of plus size clothing usually in the past when I was looking for plus plus size some of the stuff that I found it was like the styles were not cool they weren't cute or whatever so I'm recently finding a lot of cute styles in plus size and I definitely like to pick those up so here is this laced crop top like shirt and it's just all black lace like that and it is by Torrid and it is a size one which is nice and it's in really good condition i think this would be so cute 
with like a white tank top or kind of like what I have on like a white tank top underneath it with some blue jeans or and some black booties or something like that this is super cute so I had to grab that anything from Torrid um, I like to pick up especially if it's in good um, condition now I am a sucker for screen print tees I, I can't help it even if nobody wants it you will see some screen prints in my closet <laughs> just because I'm a sucker for it this is just an old mason jar and it says old smoky Tennessee moonshine and some other stuff on there and I just think um, I just like screen prints like to me when you want it when you want to dress down or relax a screen print with some some Chuck Taylors or some tennis shoes and some jeans is always super cute makes a statement um, without having to do too much so I grabbed that okay so then here is another Torrid shirt and Torrid this one is actually a size 5 and it's like a chiffon type shirt and it's really flowy I love the pattern on this the cute little toucan birds or whatever and it's just a really flowy like baby doll top blouse it has the spaghetti straps like that and it is a size 5 so um, definitely plus size really really pretty I wish it was like a size 1 or a 2 even for me because when I seen it I wanted it and then I was like ah, and I looked at it and I was like I can't fit it but it's so cute so I had to get that then this um, jacket right here now before I started going sourcing for you know thrift well thrifting I'll just say thrifting I was familiar with cut from the cloth but I wasn't really familiar with them and so I've been picking them up and they sell they sell okay some of the items sell okay uh, but I found a pair of jeans in my size and you guys let me tell you I'm, I'm a diehard Levi fan I love Levi jeans uh, next to Levi's I would say I think I like to go toward um, maybe Old Navy jeans and some other jeans but I love Levi's the ones with the stretch in them or whatever and so I found a pair of cut from the cloth jeans in my size honey I put them jeans on they are the most comfortable softest jeans I have I am like every time I'm in a store now I'm looking for the cut from the cloth in my size I do have some in my closet uh, but they're not my size but the ones that I did find that I kept for myself I am so happy with and I said all that to say that this jacket is by cut from the cloth super cute super cute I love the purple or purplish gray inside you know with the flowers and everything and it's like a faux leather jacket or but it's really really soft and it has the pocket with the snap pocket out there in the front on both sides and it's just super cute and it has the buttons down down the front right here and it's just really really nice if you want a better look at all of this stuff you know check out my closet I don't know when I am going to post all of this because it does take time but it will be up in my closet pretty soon uh, the only thing about this one what did I see and I checked it out really good there is a couple little tiny spots right here it's barely noticeable but that is that's something that I see and so um, when I'm looking for stuff so yeah I had to get that I thought that was super cute then I found some page jeans and I always find page jeans I don't always pick them up uh, but be, when it's something different I'm noticing that you know I'll pick it up because I've sold a couple in the past but I had to get these these were all white they say page right here and they do have the tag in the back right here it's white on white it says page and this style is the Hoxton ankle or ho yeah Hoxton ankle and they're in great condition just some white page jeans now what did I see on this I know I saw something oh see how you see the white but you don't see anything when you when you're really really close to it and when I'm okay like right here when you're really really close to it to me there's a little like dark spot in here that you can't really even see but I see it because you know when I'm selling something I don't want to sell something and and mislead anybody so I like to look for every little detail to see if I need to list that there's a spot on it or whatever but these are in perfect condition 
always got to have a, a jean jacket or some white jeans in your in your um you know your closet because those are just some must-haves then i saw this and it is uh this cute little i guess this is called a kimono i would call it an open front cardigan but i'm learning different uh clothing lingo <laughs> because you know i see people post certain things it might somebody might say this is a cardigan somebody might say it's a kimono whatever it is it's super cute flowy i love the ombre sleeve the front has this beautiful detail that falls down the front of it like the chest i had one something similar to this in my closet recently and it sold like right once i put it in there it was really really cute it almost looks like this um but that is the detail and the bottom is rounded so it rounds around the front to the back really cute and the brand is uh a cote i think that's how you say it is it a cote e c o t e yeah whatever i know somebody will correct me <laughs> uh then here is this susan graver and i like susan graver items uh this is like a jacket but it's a really light jacket and it's brand new without the tags uh, it looks like that it has two different materials so as you can see the top right here and then the sleeve goes down and it has where the zipper is it has that same material going up and down really cute it has two pockets that's the opening of the pocket and then the back is the same as like that soft like mesh I wouldn't call it mesh what is that it's just a soft material and it does have a little bit of stretch to it and like I said it is brand new without the tags uh, really nice jacket and it is in a size large so I picked that up I gotta stop picking up black stuff like my I love black clothing and when I'm looking for stuff I, I tend to gravitate towards the safe colors like the creams and the blacks and the you know and I do pick up some other stuff like with patterns or whatever but I just I yeah I like looking at the black clothes <laughs> Uh, okay, so then my other favorite style of jean is the Adriano uh, Goldschmidt jeans. And I always find these, and I have a few of them in my closet. Uh, and they look like this. Really, really nice jeans. This one is the Angel. I know I have the Club in my closet and a few other ones. That is the label right here. Uh, these are some nice jeans that's all I can say if you haven't owned any of these you should that's the tag on the inside and this one actually has these really cute detailing on the pocket with like some blingage cute very 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 good condition and these are a very these are a high-end jean so whenever I find these in this condition I always get them because they are really really nice Next thing I found was this tour, another torrid item, and this is a uh, torrid jacket, and I think this is like a little bit older, uh, just because of the label. It looks like it was from like a few, like a, a few years back or whatever, but it's still a really nice jacket. It's in perfect condition, and torrid makes some really good. They have really good quality clothing, so I figured somebody would like this. It's really nice. I love that um, pattern on it and the burgundy black and gray the inside is super soft and it's in great condition it's in really really nice condition and it does have two pockets the end of the sleeve is black and it does have the hood on it so uh fall is coming winter is coming a lot of people is doing back to school shopping for kids uh you know Poshmark is not only for adults to look for stuff, but you definitely can find not only just in my closet, but in a lot of people's closets. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff that you can do your uh, back to school shopping with or whatever. Uh, here is a top by Love Tree and it's in a size large. And I just thought this pattern was cute for fall. The little stripes with the fall colors. I like the little slanted pocket right there on the front and it just looks like that it is high low so the front is high the back is a little uh lower and the back is plain with that detail at the top and the sleeves have a little bit of ruching at the the down at this bottom part 
so mainly at the end where the wrist is uh, so that was really cute grab that one now this next item okay so I don't really like to <laughs> grab too many dresses I do have some but I don't really like to pick them up too much just for my own personal reasons uh, dresses are just ugh. but however when I see some that I like a lot I have to get it now this dress when I seen it I wanted it so bad for myself and I'm looking at the print and I'm like oh what size is it so I look and I'm like it's too small it's a medium it is LuLaRoe um, and this print it is LuLaRoe this print is so cute and I can't think off the top of my head right now what the, what style of dress this is where it gets um you know fit it at the waist and then it flares out at the bottom it's look at look at that it just flares and it's really flowy and I just think this jack this this dress um would be so cute with a black jacket some black leggings or whatever color and some booties or something like that the fall raining out shopping I just love this print this is gorgeous and it's it's a texture it's it's textured so it feels kind of I don't know it's textured but it's really really nice soft and it is stretchy and so the only thing I've noticed about LuLaRoe it, to me is even with free people and LuLaRoe is their sizes like this has a medium but I think it would fit a large and then like free people their tops a lot of my tops that I have in my closet it'll say small or extra small and it looks like it was fit a medium or a large so um I don't know if they just you know do their clothing like that but that's what I'm noticing but that dress I was in love with it so I had to get it found some more dresses that was actually new with tags and I do not discriminate I know that I, there's a lot of women out there that are expecting so this is by motherhood uh, and motherhood makes really nice maternity clothing and this is brand new with the tag and it's this really cute dress with the little ruffle sleeves um, it has a crisscross front and it does have a slip underneath it and at the bottom it has like double ruffles like you can't really see it because it's the same pattern on top of each other but you have a layer of ruffles going across right here and a layer going across at the bottom and it just looks like that and you do have a nude is it nude color yeah it's like a nude color slip underneath it and I just thought it was super cute so I got this and it does tie in the front it has the two strings at the belly so like if you wanted to you know put it under your breast and have your belly hanging out right here at the bottom how cute oh I don't miss those days <laughs> I'm happy though that's over for me <laughs> but I do like the dresses uh, I do have another one but let me show you this one first this is a Lulu's dress and it is adorable oh my goodness I love polka dots this is a large and it is sleeveless and it has the ruffles that fall in the front right there and you tie it right here in the front it has the strings to tie in the front so it's one of those crisscrossy type dresses that you know you can have it right across the front oh and it has the ruffles that fall and it's the polka dots how cute and then at the very bottom it's super flowy and it has a little opening kind of in the front just a little bit so cute so so cute and this also has the tag on it uh, so it's brand new and I just had to get that to put in my closet here is another uh, brand new item with tags by motherhood maternity and this is also a really nice dress and it looks like this and it has a little tie front right here that can be tied up and it also buttons down the front so the whole dress buttons down the front but it has a little tie over the belly area and this is just the pattern like that really cute the sleeves look like that so it's really short sleeve kind of falls over just a little bit and so that was brand new with tags as well maternity 
and here is oh goodness this is so pretty when i seen it i was like yes i have to have it it is plus size calvin klein brand new with the tag and the tag shows that it came from macy's i'm like who would donate that but um from macy's and it retailed for 99.98 and it is look at this neckline do you see how it's squared off like that that is so pretty really really pretty and then it gathers at the um waist area and then it's just your regular black dress that goes all the way down really pretty like i said it is a size 20 w so 20 wide uh really nice and then it does have the zipper up the back halfway down and so yeah uh, i can't wait to list that i I'm, i was very very happy to find that dress along with this one this is the last dress and we are almost done this one is uh, by Donna Rico and it is a halter style top dress that ties at the back of the neck with the V cut or heart heart neckline and when I seen it I was like okay that pattern is beautiful so that is the waist area right here with the with the lines on it and then the bottom flares out really really cute i love this style of dress i really love it and this is what the back looks like it's the same as the front but that's what the back would look like and it is uh new with tags and it retailed for a 118 and so th these the dresses all the dresses that had the um that are new with tags those are the some of the items that came from my honeycomb hideout not the goodwill uh, they came from my honeycomb hideout <laughs> so uh yeah so that's why i go there and that's why i dare not mention where i got them from on camera because i know some of my local um people that's watching they'll be going there and next thing i know i won't find nothing so i better be quiet on that one this one also came from the goodwill and this is the yeah this is the last item and this is from white house black market which i love their clothing they have really nice a really nice quality clothing however i did have a few items that are that were in my closet that sold pretty quickly um and then i have some that are in my closet right now that have not sold which is surprising to me just because they have really really nice clothing they are high they are higher end um brand and yeah so i usually when i find them lately I'll, I'll pick up a couple things but most of it i'll pass now just because it's not doing so well for me but um i had to get this the cardigan has the scallop sleeves at the end uh this pattern is really really pretty this looks like it is new without tags uh, it doesn't even look like it's been worn before uh, the bottom is also scalloped like that and it does have a split up the side on it and it's just an open front it doesn't have like a like a snap or anything like that like a closure but it's really cute really cute definitely something I would wear for myself but I have enough of them things I have enough of those and that's not my size but yeah so that is it you got you know what no yeah that's it i did pick up um a coach keychain a coach keychain a spear signature coach keychain uh from goodwill and then i also picked up one other item i can't remember what it was but yeah i normally bypass the jewelry and stuff too or looking in that showcase area but i did stop this time and i did pick up two little things they'll be in my closet eventually um but that is it so i hope you guys enjoyed my haul my thrifting haul um if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and depending on how many thumbs up I get, I'll know if this is something that you guys actually want to see more of. Because normally when I'm going out and I'm looking in the thrift stores and stuff, when I get the stuff, <coughs> excuse me, when I get the stuff and I come home, I usually sit it to the side, steam it, clean it, whatever I'm going to do with it, take the pictures of it, 
put it on Poshmark and then I bag it up and I'm done. So I, I don't really think to do the videos on them because I'm like, oh, they probably don't want to see that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it is something that I've started doing since I've, I've started selling on Poshmark over the past couple months and I'm doing really good over there. So this is something that I'm also doing. If you guys want to see these hauls, then like I said, give it a thumbs up and I'll know to continue these or not. Uh, check down in the description box for my closet so you can check me out if you do have a closet follow me I'll follow you back I try to follow everybody back I try it's hard to keep up because sometimes they just come through and you be like woo can't keep up but yeah I'll try to do that thank you guys all for watching and have a blessed day and I'll talk to y'all later bye